Edith, what is it? What? I'm not having it anymore. I'm not having another baby in this house. Out of wedlock. I've had enough. I'm going. I'm out. I'm not living in this house anymore. I'm leaving now. But, but. Wait. The children. There is nothing else to say. I've had it. I'm off. Bye. Mom. Mom. Mother. Where are you? Where are you? Are you going to continue to fold your hands like this, until shame takes over this family fully? Mommy please do something. Mommy do something. Please do something. Go somewhere. Mothers don't just sit back and expect things to happen. Yes. Mommy, they go out. Mothers go out for solutions. They look for solutions to the problems of their children. But see my mother. See our mother. Our mother is just too laid back. You're too complacent mummy. And our lives are been destroyed. Right under your nose. And you're watching us helplessly. Mummy, do something. Mrs. Florence Gregg, something is wrong. Something is fundamentally wrong. I don't think the question should be about what has happened. We're not meant to be asking what has happened. We should be asking what has not happened. Take a look at you, sweet mother. Five girls. Five beautiful girls. Well educated, yet, no husbands. No husbands. Imagine mom. Edith just left this house a few minutes ago. Just because she doesn't want to have a third child out of wedlock in this house. Imagine. Three pregnancies for three different men. And yet, you look at us like all is well. Mom. It's at the point when we want to get married to these men that they dump us. They promise us heaven and earth. And make us do things they want us to do. But it's at the point when it looks like we're ready for marriage. That is the time they opt out and dump us. Mom. Find something to do about this. This is getting serious. I'm praying. I don't even know how else to pray. What can I do? All of you are beautiful. You have good jobs. I don't understand this life at all. I don't. With all due respect mother, you're not doing what mothers do. No responsible mother would sit back and watch the lives of her children deteriorate. You're not worried about us. You don't know what is wrong with us. And you need to do something. You need to be worried about the way the men pick us and dump us like spoiled oranges and mangoes. Please do something mother. God knows I've tried my best. I don't know anything about this problem. You're all my children, it's not just your predicament alone. The predicament is my predicament as well. People go about gossiping about me. And now. You my children as well. You my children. Are wrongly accusing me? Ah. Oh no. Please what's wrong with this woman? I too don't know what's the matter with her. Eee. That woman you are seeing is not an ordinary woman. She's not an ordinary woman. You mean as she is, she's not an ordinary woman. Oh yes. She's not an ordinary woman. <laughs> she is possessed. When you look her, and everything seems okay, ah. She has a lot stored up within her. Do you know the worst part of it, as she is like that, she gave birth to five girls. Only her? Yes, only her. The bad part of it is that the five of them are spinsters. They have no husbands. No husband. Five ladies? What will she do? I don't understand. But, it's every year they five birth. They give birth to the children right there in her house. And they all live there together. The five of them live with her? Yes, the five of them live with her. You see, the pepper she buys in large quantities. 
is what she uses to celebrate her children's marriages in the spirit world she belongs to. Ah! Can you now see that there is wickedness in the world? The world is so wicked. One had better be careful who he relates with, so as not to relate with her type while thinking you're relating with human beings. She's not an ordinary person as you're looking at her. Please subscribe. The mothers? Exactly. We the mothers. Madam, I'm called Tammy Williams. But if you ask of me like that in the town, people may not quickly know that I'm the one you're asking for. But if you say Madam Tammy Lee, that's me. That's the name I'm known with. Now, to the reason I'm here. Madam, you have a big problem. Me? Ah. Something is wrong with you. In fact, there is fire under your clothing. You see, you might be thinking all is well because everything seems said like this. But really, something is wrong with you. Because our ears have been filled in the town. That what? People said that the soup ingredients you come to buy in bulk from the market. That you use it to celebrate the weddings of your children here in your parlor. Which means that you're the one behind your children's inability to get husbands. Yes, you two, look at it closely. Look at it. Does it not seem so? When you have five good daughters, and the five of them are beautiful, but their lives are meaningless. Girls that you keep under your roof, they get pregnant here, and deliver the children here, without a husband. Are their lives not meaningless? He, and you two just sit there, looking, saying people are talking. How won't they talk? Is this sort of situation good? Anyway, you see what brought me here today. Just as I have told you that we're the mothers. Mothers that watch a child to live. Mothers that watch a child carefully. How everything that seems corrupt will be corrected. That's why I've come. You don't have enough as a woman. Madam, do you hear me? You must seek more powers. Look, I gave birth to three girls. And the three of them are in their husband's houses. But when you have kept all yours right here in your house, and none of them is married, even if you're the one behind their problem, just release two or three and let them go to their husband's house. Let people stop talking about you. And if you're not the one behind it, then join us. Let's help you to sort out everything. God has given us the grace. All these crooked things, we'll settle it. If you can join us. So that everything can be the way it's supposed to be. And the lives of these children can bring out meaning. I'm here to offer you help. Let's help you to sort out everything. Hello Sister Florence, good evening. Is everything okay? Sister Florence, are you alright? What is it? Where are you going? To find a solution. Solution? I've suffered enough for these children. I sacrificed for them. Of course, you're a mother. So, Leave me to find my own solution. Okay. Florence, you and I know that our own solution is usually the wrong one. Please, let me find my own way. Okay. Jesus is the solution. No 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 no. Florence, Florence. Just let me be. Ah, Florence, welcome. Well done. You see, the other time I came to see you. And talk about your children. That a woman does not just sit and watch. A woman goes the extra mile. You wanted to get angry then. But now that you repentant, I congratulate you. You see, in our place here, we're the mothers. Mothers that watch a child live. 
and there is nothing a person seeks for in our hands that she will not get. She might have sought it all over the world with no results. But once she gets to us the mothers, we will help her find a solution to it. Now, you see the case of your children. Your five children. Men will no longer pick and dump them. All of them will get married. In fact, they are get good husbands. But a person usually gives something to get something. This is what we'll do. You'll give us one of those children. You say? The blood of one of them is what we'll use to redeem the remaining four. You see, once we use the blood of one to redeem the rest, they'll just begin to get married with ease. No way. I can't do that. Isn't it because of these children I sought help from you? And we're trying to help you. I should then donate one of them. One always uses something to seek something. Excuse me, I'm not interested. Florence. Florence. You can't go like that. It's not possible. If anyone enters this place, whatever she wants, we will do for her. And whatever we tell her to do, she must do it. If she doesn't do it, she's in trouble. Florence. Florence. Please subscribe. Pranakajudona kabrasatari pakasta kesis lampri pakasoni nepalasa dobalani lefuxutala katapatala fasalani pamunoza tabroni. Why are you disturbing me? And what rights do you have? Because I'm the mother. What proof have you? It was my breast that fed them. And I carried them on my back. Okay. You the mother. I am the woman. You are a woman. I am the mother. You have no legal right over my children. Proverbs 31, 28 says, My children call me blessed. See, these children are gifts for me from the Lord. And every good and perfect gift comes from above. Coming down from the Father of lights. From henceforth the rod of the wicked shall no more rest upon the lot of the righteous. And I declare and speak as the mother of these children. Remove your rod. Remove your hand, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. The answer to your question is with Demar. The answer to your question is with Demar. The answer to your question is with Demar. Please subscribe.